Hi everybody, it's Miss Gillard here again and I am doing assembly today. So our assembly is going to talk about um, getting stuck and it's going to talk about sometimes learning is hard, okay? So our assembly is going to show us that we can often do better than we thought we ever could. We need some encouragement, we need some confidence and we need some good examples to look up to. So in this assembly, Benji's uncle shows him a new way to approach his problem with writing and he helps him to have the confidence to keep trying and to achieve success. So today we're going to think about getting stuck and I'm sure there's lots of children at school here who definitely have been stuck before. Maybe you get to a point in your writing and you're not sure what to write and you put your hand up and say, um, Miss Gillard or whoever your teacher is, I am stuck, I don't know what to do. And when we're stuck, it means that we come to something, that we get to a point where we don't know what we're doing and we can't get past that point sometimes without a little help. Perhaps it's a word that we don't know how to read and we're going along, reading away and then suddenly there's a really difficult word waiting for you and it feels like it's about to trip you up and you're buzzing along and you come to a really sudden stop. So we're thinking today about well what do we do? We look at it for a bit and then sometimes with the word we might try to break it down, we might try to sound it out but sometimes we still don't get it um, and sometimes we can decide at that point that we're stuck and we put our hand up and the teacher says yes what is it can I help um, and you say miss uh, whoever your teacher is or mister whoever your teacher is I'm stuck. So what happens next? Your teacher, they come across and when they've got a minute, she sits or kneels down beside you and they come to help you. And they might just tell you the word, uh, but normally what they'll probably do is they'll help you to read it for yourself. So you might spend a bit of time on it and suddenly you are not stuck anymore. You're unstuck, in fact, and off you go. So it's not so bad, you get stuck and somebody helps you and then off you go again. But sometimes you can get a bit stuck and sometimes it's a little bit more serious than that. Sometimes there's something that you just can't understand, no matter how hard you try. And sometimes it leads you to thinking, well, oh, I'll never get that, or I'll never be able to do that. And it can make us feel quite unhappy and quite sad if it goes on for too long. So the first thing that I want to say is that everybody that I know, everybody I've ever met in my whole life, gets stuck. So that's all the other children in the school, all the other teachers in the school, all of the adults that work with you, all of your adults at home, everybody in their life has got to a point where they get stuck as well um, and sometimes even as adults we still get stuck as well okay so it's not just something um, that you that happens at school and then when you leave school suddenly everything's fine and life is easy sometimes things get tough as well um, in the wider world so we've all got problems that seem sometimes too big to be solved but we usually do manage to sort them out in the end so if you're stuck try not to get too upset um, there are getting stuck moments throughout all of our lives and sometimes we need a bit of patience and a little bit, and a little bit of help. And in the end, um, sometimes we can do better than we ever thought we could. And I've got a quote here which I really, really love. And it says, everyone, no matter how big and strong, could use a little help sometimes. Never be afraid to ask for help when you need it. What are we here for if not for each other? And I think that's really nice and we'll come back to that at the end. So, we're going to read a story today, um, and the story, this is my picture, this is going to be um, Benji in our story, so I'm going to move him out the way, and we're going to read a story here. I'm going to put one page on at a time, and we'll read through it together. Just adjust my camera, bear with me. So, the story is, sometimes everything feels sunny and warm, even if it isn't sunny or warm at all. Sometimes you have a good feeling inside because everything's going well. And sometimes, unfortunately, it's the opposite. Everything feels dark and rainy, even if the weather isn't dark or rainy. Sometimes you have a bad, lumpy feeling inside because nothing is going well at all. And I've definitely felt that before, and I wonder whether some of you have felt like that before. Well, Benji was having one of these bad, lumpy feelings. When his Aunt Kate met him at the school gate, his mouth would be turned down at the corners and his shoulders would be hunched up. And when she said to him, what did you do at school today, Benji? He would just grunt and say something and turn his face away. At home, when he was having tea with his Aunt Kate and Uncle Matthew, he would just sit there, not eating very much and looking very grumpy. And sometimes he would cry for no reason. Aunt Kate and Uncle Matthew were very worried about him. Benji was usually a very happy boy, full of life and ready for anything, a big bundle of fun. But he wasn't a bundle of fun now, he was a bag of misery. In the end, it was Uncle Matthew who got the story out of him. I'm stuck, Uncle Matty, said Benji, with tears in his eyes. 
Well, said his uncle, that's no surprise to me. I guessed it was something like that. Now, what are you stuck on? Oh, I'm never going to be able to write, said Benji, and had great big tears rolling down his cheeks. Oh, I don't believe that, said Uncle Matthew. It may be hard now, but you'll get the trick of it, sure enough. I never will, wailed Benji. All the other children can write. They write all the time in their books and on paper, and I can't do it. I can't make my hand do what I want it to do. I can read, but I can't make my hand do the writing. Well, said Uncle Matthew, let me tell you a big secret. When I was a little boy, I surely couldn't write either. Mind you, I couldn't read until I was eight, because I didn't go to school very much. And even then, it was my old granny who taught me, and she taught me to write too. She taught me in the sand on the beach outside her little wooden house. In the sand, said Benji. His eyes had dried up and he was suddenly very interested. In the sand, yes, Uncle Matthew. <laughs> Sorry, in the sand, yes, said Uncle Matthew. He was quiet for a moment. In his mind was the memory of the warm sun and the beach with children playing in the water. And his granny's house filled with love and laughter, so long ago but so clear in his mind. Uncle Matthew sighed. Benji waited patiently for him to go on. Then Uncle Matthew said, she would smooth out a big patch of sand with her hands and she would take a stick and she would write letters in the sand and I would take another stick and I would write those letters too. And I learned to write just like that from my old granny, God bless her. I wish we had some sand, said Benji. You could teach me to write in the sand. Well, I'll tell you what we do have. Matthew went to the pantry cupboard and brought out a big packet. He said, I have here a big packet of salt. I'm going to clear all the things off the kitchen table like this and then I'm going to pour all this lovely white salt on the kitchen table. Then I'm going to smooth it out just like my old granny would smooth out the sand. Then I'm going to get my finger and I'm going to write Benji in the salt with my finger like this. Benji watched, absolutely thrilled by what he was seeing. He'd never thought that you could write on the kitchen table in salt. It was a new idea. Perhaps he would be able to do that. Now you write Benji too, said Uncle Matthew. And that's what Benji did. He got it a little bit wrong at first because it's quite a complicated name to write when you think about it. But it was easy for Uncle Matthew to rub it out and he let him have another try. And Benji didn't mind that. So each day, Benji had a salty writing lesson on the kitchen table with his Uncle Matthew. They would write words and names together and Uncle Matthew would tell stories about his childhood in the village of Labori in St Lucia. It helped Benji a lot. Of course, he was really learning most of his writing at school, but just doing something a little bit different with Uncle Matthew and having Uncle Matthew being interested in him and telling him stories helped him a lot. And sure enough, he soon unstuck himself and started to make real progress. Then came the day when he wrote a story for his teacher that started, This is how my Uncle Matthew learned to write in the sand, and this is how Uncle Matthew taught me to write in the salt. His teacher thought the story was beautiful, and he had to take it to the head teacher for a gold star, and the head teacher put Benji's story on the wall in her room. I would like to meet your Uncle Matthew one day, she said. So that's the story we've got there, and here's my picture here of um, a little character who in my head I've imagined to be um, Benji. Okay, so we're going to have a little think about that story. Do you think that Uncle Matthew taught Benji to write? Not sure. If you chat to the person next to you, do you think Uncle Matthew was the one who taught Benji how to write? Okay, well, I don't think that it was Uncle Matthew at all. I think that Benji was learning at school how to write himself. But what Uncle Matthew did was to help Benji get himself unstuck. He gave him something a little bit different to do. He took a bit of an interest in him and Benji gained a lot of self-confidence. Benji started to say to himself, hmm, maybe I can do this after all. So we all need to remember that, like we said before, anyone can get stuck, myself, other teachers, I'm sure even Mr. Clark gets stuck sometimes. But what we have to remember is that to get unstuck, we just need a little bit of help, a little bit of time, and a whole lot of confidence. And then once we're unstuck, we can make real progress. 
So I'm gonna leave you with that quote one more time. Everyone, no matter how big and strong, could use a little help sometimes. Never be afraid to ask for help when you need it. What are we here for if not for each other? Okay, so I'll leave you with that today. Have a little think about something maybe at school that um, makes you feel stuck and you could have a think about what could you do to get yourself unstuck? Is there somebody you could ask? Is there somebody at home that you could chat with? And um, I'm going to leave you with that today. So have a lovely afternoon. Have a nice evening. And I will see you soon. Bye.